Hi everyone, welcome to the 49th episode of the Logo Files Lounge. I am Saket, the founder of ECT, and the Logo Files Lounge is a weekly video series dedicated to content writing, digital marketing, communication skills, and personality development. In this episode, we are going to learn about conjunctions and interjections. So now I will share my screen to take you through the various rules of conjunctions and interjections. Conjunctions join words or parts of a sentence. Without conjunctions, your sentences become simple and boring. For example, Amit and Anthony run every day. If you have to write this sentence without conjunction, then you will write Amit runs every day, Anthony runs every day. In fact, conjunctions help you write complex, better sentences. There are more examples. I love to eat, sleep and read. We have joined three words together, eat, sleep and read. Without conjunctions, you will have to write I love to eat, I love to sleep, I love to read. Similarly, you can join independent clauses together with the help of conjunctions. For example, I love cycling. This is an independent clause. Similarly, I hate running. This is an in another independent clause. When you combine both, you combine a conjunction part. So conjunctions help you write complex and informative sentences. Now there are three important conjunction concepts that you should learn. The first concept tells us about different types of conjunctions. So there are three different types of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions and correlative conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions join words, phrases and clauses of equal grammatical rank in a sentence. The examples of coordinating conjunctions are these. You can use fanboys to remember all coordinating conjunctions. The second is subordinating conjunctions. These join independent and dependent clauses. Examples of subordinating conjunctions are because, whenever, wherever, etc. So you have two clauses like one is dependent clause, another is independent clause and when you combine both then you use subordinating conjunctions. The third is correlative conjunctions. These are pairs of conjunctions that work together. For example, neither, nor, either, or, etc. The second concept is Use a comma when you start the sentence with a subordinating conjunction. When the sentence begins with a subordinating conjunction, a comma is used where the first clause ends. For example, look at this one. Because I just ate a huge meal, I cannot go swimming. So, since you are starting with because, which is a subordinating conjunction, you will put a comma where this first clause ends, right? So just remember that whenever you use, whenever you begin a sentence with a subordinating conjunction, the sentence will definitely have a comma, otherwise it will be grammatical incorrect. The same goes with the second sentence, before the internet was developed. Again, before is a subordinating conjunction, therefore you will use comma before people or after the first clause ends, right? The third concept is place a comma before conjunctions when two independent clauses are joined by a fanboy's conjunction or coordinating conjunctions. Look at these two examples. So we have combined two independent clauses with a coordinating conjunction or a fanboy's conjunction. Then you will put a comma before the conjunction. So the first example, some toy dolls promote unrealistic body images among young girls, comma. Yet, toy companies continue to market these products without restraint. Now, in this sentence, these there are two clauses. One is some toy dolls promote unrealistic body images of young girls, which is an independent clause. The second clause is toy companies continue to market these products without restraint. This is also an independent clause because this clause also does not require any additional information to make sense. This is independent in itself. Therefore, when you combine these two independent clauses, you need to put comma before conjunction. Same goes with 
एग्जाम्पल नंबर टू येस्टरडे वॉज माई बर्थडे बट वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग इट दिस वीकेंड येस्टरडे वॉज माई बर्थडे इज एन इंडिपेंडेंट क्लाउज वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग इट दिस वीकेंड इज ऑल्सो एन इंडिपेंडेंट क्लाउज वेन वी कंबाइन दीज टू विद अ कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन देन वी पुट कॉमा बिफोर कंजंक्शन सो दीज थ्री कॉन्सेप्ट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर टू यूज कंजंक्शन appropriately remember you should learn comma uses to write complex sentences correctly now let's learn interjections interjections express surprise concern or other strong emotions they stand alone or usually come at the beginning of sentences these are some of the examples of conjunctions and usually you will see at the beginning of the sentence or they will be a sentence itself you will rarely make a mistake in using interjections however you need to decide why you want to use interjections right interjections should not be used much in formal writing you should minimize the uses of interjections in formal writing otherwise it might give an impression that you are not serious about the topic or about the writing about that topic however you can use it interjections in casual or informal writing but remember that if you are using interjections there is hardly a chance that you will make a mistake so this is the easiest among all parts of speech thank you very much for watching the video hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe to our youtube channel to get the latest update related to content writing digital marketing communication skills and personality development